Hey guys, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the two new OpenAI models that have just dropped, OpenAI 04 Mini Deep Research and 03 Deep Research. Now, what these basically are, are the 03 and 04 models that have web search tool always turned on and obviously at an additional cost. Now, these are obviously quite slow models as well. So, for example, 03 has a cutoff of June the 1st, 2024 which is obviously like a year and a bit ago now. So a lot of its knowledge is pretty bad. So to combat that, and also in a dev friendly way, and also probably as a blow and a shot at perplexity, they have just come out with these very, very non-dev friendly models that have instant access to deep research. So normally when you're working with AI, you need to bridge this gap in some way. This gap being cut off, right? And also like the base model. So this is the, the knowledge, right? And then you want to give it context. How do you bridge this gap so that when you program something, it has the context that it needs to create something that is actually useful? Now, I've been experimenting more and more with GLM 4.6 for this kind of thing. And I am working on something. I haven't actually released it yet. But if you do want first access to what I'm working on, then definitely check out my school community. So in my cheap vibe coding thing, I'm working on this at the moment. You can pause the video and read this if you want, if you're interested. But I'm going to be releasing this at some point. The school will get it first and then I'll release it to the channel as well. But using cheap intelligence, but plugging the gap in some way. So you, you always need to plug the gap in some way. So what the way that i will do it personally is i'll use something like gina or bright data to get the knowledge needed for my llms but there's another way to do it which is a model which has this already integrated into it now perplexity does also offer this so perplexity the api and they did recently update their api i've always said that their api is terrible but they've recently come out with an update to it i haven't tested it but i mean if the update is what they say it to be, then it's a good update. But like, like I said, I haven't actually tested it. But what this brings is potentially another level to this. Now, again, I haven't tested this specifically O4 Mini Deep Research. I did try and test it in the API. Obviously, it seems incredibly slow and quite expensive as well. But this kind of having this automated bridge the gap means non-developers or people who have very little dev experience can actually create applications that do something. So you can see that by leveraging the internet, it can tell me what day it is. Whereas if I asked just a normal 04 mini what day it was, it wouldn't be able to give me this answer. Now, this might not seem massively revolutionary or whatever. It's not massively revolutionary, to be honest with you. But Having something that's incredibly intelligent, like an O4 model with access to the internet without needing any complex code. Like if you go on Open Router, this will obviously be available on OpenAI API 2. The actual code needed here is incredibly easy. I will say one thing there is something wrong with Open Router's API when there's a new model that's just been released. It's incredibly slow. And this is also true here, I would say. But normally after a couple of weeks or whatever, it slows down and I don't know what it is, but like they work out how much load is needed for that system that they're running for the amount that it's being used or whatever the optimization is that they have to do. And normally open routes are then you can start to use it. Maybe it's providers. I'm not really sure how it works, but so I would say this is more for non devs, but if you are kind of a bit more savvy with dev, in my opinion, it's much better to do something yourselves with something like Gina right data or just some kind of SERP scraping python that you've made yourselves you can easily do this yourselves i would say the easiest one was gina and then bright data bright data is also very good if you need to scrape something really specific like reddit or linkedin or amazon gina struggles with that kind of stuff you will probably struggle with that kind of stuff if you try and do it yourselves but bright data does also do that which does work pretty well and then if you really want to go low cost as well with the coding, like I said before, I'm working on this at the moment, but my idea is to have like 
a GLM 4.6 that uses Claude code that you spawn or you, you get from GitHub, right? You clone a Claude code kind of file, if that makes sense, already set up with MCPs, um, some kind of scraping and also custom prompting that can you can just give it quite like a vague simple prompt and it will just go and it will just do its absolute best to build that thing and because it's so cheap the glm model glm 4.6 if you don't know you can get it for three dollars a month which is just absolutely crazy if you guys have been watching the channel for a while you know i'm not a massive fan of cheap ai but this is the first time that i've used cheap ai that actually doesn't feel like cheap ally AI. And they have this offer right now, which is $3 a month and then on to $6 a month. So I'm not sure how, I didn't even read the TO terms and conditions, obviously, but yearly $36 a year to lock that in for an entire year or 180, if you want to code a little bit more, or even I'm considering this because at the moment we're paying $200 a month for Claude code for two Claude codes. So we're paying $400 plus we're paying API costs on top of that because I didn't even realize, but when you go over your limit, it uses your fucking API key, which when did that happen? No idea. And yeah, we're sinking thousands of dollars, I would say, into Claude every month when we could theoretically just be using this one single plan or maybe even two plans for $720 a year to have intelligence, which is starting to feel, in my opinion, as good as Claude. Now, if you do want to try glm 4.6 out and then you can check out the link in the description to z.ai if you do use the link that i have it'll help me out because they'll know that this channel is a good channel to sponsor we're currently in like a kind of test period a trial period working together i don't normally work with sponsors but i was making so much content about glm anyway because i actually think that it's the first I think it's open source, don't quote me on that, but open source model that feels as good as the other models. And also the other thing is I used it on Kilo Code once and it ran for eight hours, which is Claude's big million dollar promise that I have never seen delivered on. And GLM have delivered that for three bucks a month, which is just ridiculous. So I don't know what they're doing over there. I don't know what, what they've changed, but whatever they've done, it seems to work extremely well and i'm excited to see what they come out with next so when it does actually say sota right the latest open source sota model i'll tell you guys this does feel as good as claude genuinely and also just the fact that it can run for eight hours is absolutely crazy so yeah i'll leave the video there guys this whole bridge the gap thing is what perplexity has tr been trying to do but i don't think they do it very well in their api i learned how to do it myself you can do it with more expensive models like OpenAI's new O4 Deep Research, or you can try and plug the gap with cheap things like Gina, Bright Data, and GLM 4.6. You need context for your applications. You need context when you're coding. Plug the gap in whatever way you see fit. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. Please do check out this coding plan, guys, because it's such a good offer. And I've done so many sales pitches for Anthropic, and they've let me down so many times that I'm just kind of sick of it, honestly. Try it out, guys. It's genuinely worth it. Kilo code or inside Claude code feels as good as anything else. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.